Alright, what's going on guys? So, I figured I'd make a pretty basic tutorial for anybody who wants to learn how to use debugger, or, I mean, whether you be new to modding, just getting into it even though it's been around for a while, maybe you have been modding, you don't know how to use debugger, and you just want to learn some basics. Um, first thing you're going to need before we get into it, you're going to need a debug file, whether it be a debug.self file or a debugeboot.bin, <clears throat> and then a game of your choice that you want to mod. I'm going to use MW3 as a reference, so I'm going to look up 1.24 MW3 offsets. And 24 is the update that the game is currently on. You get all these different threads, you can choose uh, anyone that you may want. I use Portal Centric, the light that I'm always on, they have everything I need, I'm sure they'll have everything that you need. And let me find eBoots there your offsets. I do have my own right here notepad, the ones that I'm probably going to use for this tutorial, but just to show you where you can find them. I have anything from non-host stats to host offsets, whether it be god mode, whatever. <clears throat> Alright, next thing you're going to want to do is, after you have your offsets and your debuggy boot on your PS3, open debugger. Let this load. Alright, and then debugger opens. Uh, if it's the first time you open it, or maybe you just open it on launch of the game, you may have zeros or Ds. What you're going to want to do is click auto update, and what I do is I connect and attach any tool. I use NetSheet, because you can use it to find offsets. You can also use it to convert a normal number to a hex number. Like so, like type in any number. Oh, not the letter, but... There you go. That's the hex version of 1,237. Anyway, so you'll choose the offset you want. I'll do name change because if you're playing Call of Duty, it's probably going to be the first one that you try to mess with. Copy it. Paste it here in debugger. And then click search. And then here's your name. There's my name. As you can see right here, name. maybe you want buttons in your name or something, so we'll change first um, white value to 0, 01 or 0, 02, anything you can play around with it, find different buttons. You come over here, type in whatever you may want. So, do like. Just add another button. Oh, two this time. You get the gist of it now. <coughs> and then you can also do stuff like stats. Like we'll do prestige is the next example. Your offset. Get the back in your address. And there's your prestige. So, 0 2 being second prestige. This number right here is the one that you're going to change for prestige. So, anything from 0 0 through, say, 0 9 will be obviously no prestige through 9. And you can see that there. If you want 10th, this 9 is going to change any. Um, well, if you want 10th, it'll change to an A. But if you want, say, like 10th through 15th, it'll be A through F, F being 15th. We'll see. If you want anything higher than that, say you want 16 through 20th, it'll go to 10 as a byte value, or 14 being 20th. Anything after this 14 will give you no prestige or the modded one that some people like. As you can see here, you got the blank one. Put any number you want there, it can be 15, it can be 19, whatever. All you're gonna get is a blank square, it's not gonna change. Um, so, actually, we'll stick with 0, 02 because it's the prestige I like. You can also do your kills, deaths, whatever. We'll do kills as the next one. I'm not gonna go through all the stats because it'll take too long. The offset. There you go. 
Um, show you here. The kills that I have. And you can change this to whatever you want. You can do like 2F, 23, A, I don't know, 1A. And then the rest of the rows. And your stats won't auto update. Like you'll see, I'll close barracks, reopen it. it stays the same. From the update, you gotta play a game and get a killer death, which I'll show you right here. Let's jump into a game. <coughs> All right, and then. So we're ready. I'll have this ready. Um, you can also do like your non-host stuff. Do a fun offset for say super UAV. That would be this offset right here. Tells you zero two is on, zero one is off. Okay. The game. Currently, you can see no super UAV. Up to zero one, changes to two. The UAV will turn on. And like I was saying before, kill yourself. Kill, kill yourself, whatever. Leave the game after that, and your stats will change. It'll auto update. Let's see that right here. My kills jumped up from say the thousand, whatever it was, to it's over a million, almost two million. And, I mean, that's kind of the basics. You guys can obviously play around, maybe find stuff on your own, um, change your class names, whatever you want to change. Whatever offsets that are in threads that you find, you can play with, maybe add on to them, maybe. If you're playing a game like GTA or something, you can find different stuff, whether it be clothes or different car modifications, whatever. But if you're playing a game like GTA, you're going to need net cheat because the offsets are dynamic, which means they're constantly changing. Every time on, every time you load the game or on boot up, the offsets change. They do not stay the same like a Call of Duty game. But hopefully this helped you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy. Maybe find some cool stuff on your own. If you do, please post it or something in the comments on what you find. Have a good day.